Okay, so we're gonna go over a dropping throw now. A Sayanagi, a two-arm shoulder throw. We're gonna start with one hand on the collar, one hand on the sleeve in a traditional grip. My right foot is gonna be at the top of the triangle here, right in the front of my opponent. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take both arms, and I'm gonna open them up as wide as I can and try to pull him slightly onto his toes. Once I get him opened as far as I can, I'm gonna jump with both my legs meeting right at his feet here with my butt going through. So as I open, I'm gonna jump through and I'm gonna close him. My left arm's gonna pull down on top. My right arm is gonna stay up top here. I'm not gonna let it collapse down to the side. I'm gonna keep it up nice and high and pull. My butt goes through and I extend my legs. So I come up and I can roll him through right into side control. It's really important that we get this open and closed here so that he's up and on top of me so that I can extend and roll through. A few common errors here is we don't open our opponent. You'll see a lot of guys just try to quickly drop. What happens is they fall short and it's really easy for this guy to stuff the throw. I have to really make sure I get a reaction up so that his feet freeze to the mat here. So when I pull up, it almost reacts to him in a squat position so that I can come underneath and finish. So from another angle. Open, close, hand pulls tight, elbows high, lift up with the hips, rotate through. And that's a drop saying I. One of the other mistakes that we tend to make is not jumping deep enough. So even if I open him up, I can still drop short to where my opponent can squat behind me and I still won't be able to quite lift him up. Okay? And he's going to end up with his hooks in. I want to make sure that I go through deep enough here so that once I drop in, if he tries to pick his foot up and throw his hooks in, he actually rolls himself right over the top. Where's the